All right, let's watch it. Kanuk Sayuka. With the story of Kanuk Sayuka, told by Robert Cleveland, it's just a, it's just a masterwork. It's a well-known story among the Inupiaq people, and in our case, of producing a video game that really reflects indigenous heritage. It's, it captures the imagination, and it's something that you have a very specific kind of task to do. But there's a blizzard, you know, and it is just a non-stop blizzard that is overpowering the people, and there's one man that wants to figure it out. And in our case of the story, it's a girl that wants to find the source of that blizzard. The blizzard man, it's like that is the physical wow. embodiment of an element of nature. Whoa. And so there's a person that, that needs to go up and take away that, that adds, that's chipping away that, that snow. In that community, the person least expected is the one who stands up and makes the difference. Humility is something that we value. And where that comes from is the idea that you are not the biggest thing in the world. And when you live in an extreme environment, like where the Inuit reside, you're at the whim of the environment, of the climate, of the animals. You can be as prepared as you can, you know, by learning from your elders that, you know, you're not the biggest force in the world. Insightful. Derigan Nam, look at Pam, who had loud digger and a bear, share a roll. Yanin, in your near a law of it. How long of a law of it? I shall live with it. It cuts a rhythm. Yo, man, that was a dope game, man. Story inspired by the kind of scene I got told by Robert and the Cleveland with permission from his daughter Minnie Gray. Fox Tale. Story inspired by two close brothers. It's told by Walter Panic Cone Singer and the family. Look at that, man. Not that it fucking matters, but I've been to Alaska. I really appreciate the nature of that general area. So I thought the game was really great. Uh, very stylish. The controls were like wonky, but I feel like they almost like were meant to be that way to make it a challenge. You know? It really uh, gives you detail of uh, how hard making some of the jumps would be, you know, if it, if it just floated naturally, the game would probably be too easy. But uh, I really enjoyed this game. I thought it was dope. I love how my capture artwork is conveniently blocking these title credits till they get a quarter of the way up the screen. But no, um, I got the game when it was on sale, so I have the Fox Tales, um, DLC. I'm oh, definitely going to play that. Um, yeah, man. So, I don't know. This game was great. Amazing. Thank you, uh, Petey Pete, for the recommendation. And, uh, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the playthrough. I don't know what game will be next. I'd like to finish up that Batman for the NES. And then uh, maybe move my uh, Wii upstairs so I can play that in the living room more. More so. So yeah, man. Thank you guys so much for watching. Appreciate it. If you uh, would like, please subscribe. It really, really helps me out. 
And uh, yeah, I think this video is going to be like a half an hour. I wasn't expecting um, this to be the ending and, and all that good stuff, so. So yeah, man. Thank you guys. Japanese publishing by Unity Games Japan. I wonder how the uh, Japanese felt about the game. Alright guys, I'm signing off. Later.